All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll do it. Yeah. So we do have actual nurses here from Long Beach Memorial. Where else are you all from? These are the real heroes. I'm, I'm here. I am here to talk to you about SB 562. Anybody in here know what SB 562 is? Anybody think healthcare should be a human right? Yes. Does everybody believe that healthcare is everybody in, nobody out? Yes. Well, that's what we're planning to do with SB 562. And your senator, let's shout out to Ricardo Lara. I guess there's no coincidence why the bill's number is 562. That might be your area code, right? Yeah, so, um, so let's talk a little bit. How many of you, I mean, do I need to give you the background on why healthcare is a shambles in our country, or do you all know that? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of it. So the United States um, spends the most money on healthcare and has the worst outcomes. We spend twice as much as the average, as the um, average of all other industrialized, industrialized nations for our health care. And we have the worst outcomes. So, and one of the reasons is, is there's these things called insurance companies. And the insurance companies take 20 to 30% right off the top. So before you even, before, he wants me to play to the camera, but these are the workers in the room. These are the people that are gonna go knock on doors. So that's just how I do it. So, um, so insurance companies take 20 to 30% right off the top, right? Pharmaceutical companies get away with charging, what is it, uh, like $500 for EpiPen when it really only costs about $30 to make? That's pretty crazy. Um, so the pharmaceutical companies make an awful lot of profit. The insurance companies make an awful lot of profit. And they deny your health care. I mean, people talk about um, single payer or universal health care system as, as rationed care, as leading, going down that road of rationed care. How many of you have ever gone to your doctor and your doctor says, I'm sorry, I can't do that? Your insurance company won't let me do that. How many of you have ever said, you know what, I can't buy that medication today because I don't have enough money? Absolutely, yes. That is rationed care. It's self-rationing. The insurance companies are the ones rationing care. What we want to do with this bill, SB 562, is create a single payer system. Okay, so what that is is we will, we will pull multiple sources of money and you'll have a card. How many, of in, how many of you in here are on Medicare? Yeah. You have a card, you go to your doctor, you give your doctor that card, and for the most part, that's the end of the story, right? Okay, Medicare is, their administrative cost is 3%. Insurance companies, like I said before, 20 to 30%. There's not that much difference in, in the care that you're given, other than you don't have to double up. You don't have to pay uh, co-pays, you don't have to pay deductibles, though now, because of what happened in 2006, Medicare is also under attack, and they're trying to do it again with the new bill, right? Now you have Part D and Part B, so you end up senior citizens who are retired and paying out of pocket for the medical expenses. That's crazy. We shouldn't be doing that. Healthcare should be a... That's right, that's right. So we hope to be able to... Um, bring in the Medicaid money, uh, a small uh, income premium, to be able to form a pool that will then fund health care for all of us. And I mean all of us, undocumented immigrants are also part of that, because health care is for the community. I had somebody ask me yesterday, well, how are we going to pay? Am I going to have to pay for undocumented immigrants? And I kind of turned the question over and said, if your neighbor is undocumented and they get sick, and the person on the next side, next to them is not undocumented and they get sick, what's the difference, right? And the difference is also if somebody has an illness that's contagious, the whole community gets sick. 
right? So this is about taking care of all of us. We've got to flip that script about individual. It's all pull yourself up by the bootstraps. You know, we are a community. We're a community. We need to take care of each other. And the nurses can tell you, right, that everybody who comes in there, you know, we all bleed, right? We all have health issues. It shouldn't be who gets it and who doesn't get it. We want to make sure that people get the health care, the health care they need, not the health care they can afford. That's not our, that's not our agenda. It's the health care you need, not the health care you can afford. So right now, if you go on the Senate's website and look up SB 562, it is a spot bill. And the language is not very deep, but next week at this time, you should look on it, look there, and there will be much more language about the bill. And we have some top economists that are uh, researching the funding mechanism and how it's going to work. And we have a, an economist that um, Jerry Brown really likes, so we can hope to pull him in too. We don't know if we will. But one very important thing is this is a political moment. You guys in this room flip the script on the Democratic Party here in California, right? Because you, you progressives have made a big difference. And even the moderates in the Assembly and the Senate are looking over their shoulders saying, we might want to rethink our stances on some of these issues. So let's hear it for you guys for working so hard. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so what we're doing right now is we are actually visiting, uh, we will be visiting uh, Senate the folks that sit on the Senate Health Committee, that's uh, Tony Atkins, who's supporting this bill. So shout out to Tony Atkins. Yeah. Richard Roth, Ed Hernandez, Connie Leva, Holly Mitchell, Bill Monning, a few others. So if you know any of those folks, we got to get this thing through the Senate Health Committee first. So we need to make sure that they support it. And what, what will help us is if you belong to any community group, or you have a way to talk to your city council or your county board of supervisors and get them to do a resolution. The city of Berkeley did the first resolution, I think, saying that the city of Berkeley supports SB 562. Oakland's about to do one. San Francisco's about to do one. So come on, Southern California, catch up. All right, so SB 562, healthcare is a human right. Thank you very much.